Oh, no softener, baby. That's excellent. For the first 621 miles, do not drive at extremely high speeds. I interpret that to be over 150. So I think we should be okay. Hey everybody, it's Charlie and Chris with Daily Motor, and we are excited because we are probably, I'm not gonna say the first, because I'm sure there's something out there, but some of the first people to drive the new GR Corolla in winter weather. Yes. Mother Nature has blessed us with a little bit of the white and fluffy and slippery coming down from the sky, but that's okay, because we've got 300 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque, and all-wheel drive with a six-speed manual transmission waiting for us right out there. That's right. And funny enough, it isn't from the BMW Emish car that, <laughs> that is parked right there. It's actually from this GR Corolla, which you already know because you clicked on the video, you saw the thumbnail. Oh yeah. And here it is, oddly is similar to the like, car that we've already reviewed. I was gonna say, what if it's just like the same car they like- They just shipped it, it out here for a month. Here. Yeah, we are running some uh, not ideal tires for this type of weather, but rest assured that we do know what we're doing. Tires have been worn up, warmed up and we are gonna be cognizant of driving this car on, again, less than ideal rubber. I'm gonna see if it's the think. same car. All right, I doubt it is, because- Could be, Charlie, you never know. This isn't exactly an uncommon build here for the GR Corolla. I mean, this is the base model. We're unsure if it has a performance pack or not because we don't have a window sticker for it. Base model trim is called the Core. Yes. For those of you unfamiliar with the GR Corolla, essentially, Toyota took their base well-known Corolla car and turned it into a sports mobile widened it out, gave it all-wheel drive, and a turbocharged 1.6 liter motor with a standard and all-you-can-get manual transmission. It's not the same car, <laughs> as you said. <laughs> now that that's established, <laughs> it's also Sorry. worth pointing out that I have lost my voice in that pilot right there, so I am a little bit gruff oh, yeah. today. Yeah. But let's take a look in the back seat. Some of this will be a little bit redo for me and Chris because Look forward really to it hasn't been long since we've reviewed this. But, That's right, yeah. Uh, we're going to uh, have a quite a different experience. With it. I'm actually a bit jealous that you get to drive first because of the, the slipperiness. It is a bit cramped back here, but as for any compact car, it's pretty understandable. It's yeah. also pretty basic, not even map pockets. You have now, to remember, it's still a Corolla. Here's my question for you, Chris. How much more would it have cost Toyota to simply put a map pocket? Probably 10 cents. Do you ever use your map pockets? Yes. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I feel I like do. it is a good place to put things, especially I, for, for thin things that aren't going to stretch it out. Yeah, right. Yeah. But you can even put a water bottle back there sometimes if you want it to stay in one That's spot. True. Because I as will... we noticed when we had the Corolla last time, not a lot of places to put things. No. So that 10 cents would have gone a long way into making it thing compatible. This is kind of cool, huh? That's kind of neat. The, yeah. It goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a big smiley. Mm hmm. Yeah. You have one singular light. If I were a child, I'd be happy to be back here because my father would presumably be sending it. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Before we get Chris behind the wheel, let's take a quick look at the engine compartment because there is an engine under there. And it's one that- Is there an engine under it's here? It's pretty fun. Well, I hope so, or else this is gonna be a boring review. Do not open it. Well, usually it's coming there out it at least. <laughs> it's a very off-center engine. It's an engine. Did you ever notice that? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Transmission's right here. Well, this is what you got to think as well. Yes, the transmission's right there, but it also probably counterbalances for the driver a little bit. Because oh. if you're driving this on a track, the driver's got weight over here, so if you have a little bit more weight to the right. Or do they sell this car in right-hand drive market? Well, presumably, because Japan. So then it, mm. it wouldn't do that. Maybe it's faster in North America or on a track. Yeah. Let's let's expense a trip Daily to Motor Japan top tip. Yeah, oh, and let's go it. out and we'll t and we'll get some, some right. lap times there. Uh, Daily Motor top tip. Only buy the GR Corolla in North America. Yes. Yeah. Or other left-hand drive markets. Yeah. The proper way to drive. Jeremy Clarkson wouldn't be. It hey, we do have heated seats. That's the, the other. The one in California didn't have heated seats. I don't think so. This one must have the Michigan package. Yeah. This is definitely not in Charlie's spec. Let's get a little more heat going here. We are in 6040. <clears throat> Why don't I go ahead and switch that to 40 to uh, 4060? What Chris means is that you can actually change. Sorry, 3070. Yes, you can change how much power goes to your front and rear wheels. We don't want to link the Toyota. Uh, observation. No miles on this car. Yeah. That is because uh, Toyota did a, a strange thing, and uh, Jen and Kurt, if you're watching, 
we do appreciate your vote of confidence. Um, this car has been sitting on its summer tires here in Michigan its entire life. They just now got bold enough because this car leaves the press plate in April, and they thought, if we're going to get any use out of this car, let's give it Why to Why would it leave in April? Ask Toyota of corporate that. They're are pulling we, are it from they going to get West. different GR Cools? Well, eventually, yeah. This is a pre-pro model, and uh, they actually trust us with it um, more than just about any other outlet. So that's so why it's only actually, got... I was going a different direction with this. Break it. Mm. Uh, Toyota, we will be driving this out of your braking specs. I mean, sorry, this car has. It's got three thousand miles. Three thousand miles. <laughs> You know Toyota loves to just have a bunch of loose manuals sitting around Sorry, here. Sorry, you have to be subscribed to Connected Services to use navigation feature to learn more about what you can ask. This that looks all. like Roku. This has probably never been set up because it's never been driven by a journalist yet. Yeah, this car has like the lightest steering ever. Uh, it's The car's telling me that roads may be icy, Charlie, so I just want I, to... I would believe it. I want you to... Break in tips. Chris, I'm gonna give you some tips. Okay. And just the tip. Don't do that part. <clears throat> uh, would you like driving in the rain? Yes. Driving in the rain. Drive carefully when it's raining because visibility will be reduced, the windows may become fogged up, and the road will be slippery. What will I do if the windows become fogged up? Doesn't help you that much, it just says- Would I then select this button here? That would probably be a good way to go. That's going to blast us. Breaking in your new Toyota. To extend the life of the vehicle, Breaking observe... Breaking your new Toyota. I'm observing the following precautions as recommended. For the first 186 miles, avoid sudden stops. So don't have any emergencies well, in I, the first 186 miles. No, it's done... Yeah, I know. Than, I'm just, okay, I'm just letting yeah. others know. For the first 621 yeah, miles, do not drive at extremely high speeds. I interpret that to be over 150. <laughs> so I think we should be okay. Uh, avoid sudden acceleration. So do your accelerating um, not suddenly. Uh, uh, Give a warning to the car. Say, car, I'm about to accelerate. Gradual, gradual acceleration. Yes. Um, do not drive continually I'm just going to go, gears. just go, just go drive at 300 miles tonight, Charlie. It's okay. Like um, do not drive in continuously low gears and do not drive at constant speed for extended periods. This is pre-production mode. Yeah. They just crush it anyways. It'll be fine. It doesn't say don't do what you're about to do. It just says do it gently. God, this car sounds so fun. Yeah, it it sounded at 1.6. We've got a G meter on the right. We've got a big rev counter in the middle, a big gear indicator in the middle, and also a number of gauges on the left-hand side that tell you temperatures and pressures. Chris, you also have... And there's a man on a moped. Charlie? That would be you right now if you didn't have a car. <laughs> I feel like you probably have ridden a moped in the snow. Yes. Yes. It doesn't go well. Did you fall off? No, I didn't fall off. Oh, that's good. You also have this, which we will be utilizing at some point in this year. Charlie will be utilizing it. Man, it really pulls when you get up there. Yeah, it it's cool getting a car back here in a DMHQ because we know we, we, we've we experienced this road so many times that I can kind of know based on how hard it's pulling and how quickly Chris is going how fast a car is from the passenger seat. When we're on new roads like we had the GR Corolla before, there's not really a reference point. The tires do feel a little sketchy. They, they probably are. Yeah, they do feel slightly sketchy. I'm looking forward to you going through here because you have bigger balls. Oh. Actually, though, it feels okay. He says as he tiptoes through over here. How's the shifter feel on a this car. brand new GR Corolla? Uh, quite notchy. Mm, that's good. Not too notchy, though. It's, it's a good <clears throat> shifter feel. I assume you cleared all this in the M340i because you were sideways the whole way following? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every no, go ahead. I was gonna say every like five or so times you get a very fun doo -doo 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 sound from the turbo. Yeah, I do really, really enjoy that. Oh wait, we should get over here and test the ride. Yeah, this will actually be really. Does this have active dampers? I don't think so. All right, well, we'll put it in normal just to be safe. 
I don't remember the ride being particularly cozy in this car. Do you remember the ride? <laughs> no, <laughs> not particularly cozy. I'm gonna hit this at 35. Uh, do you want me to? Yeah. That sounds terrifying. Breaks my nose. Actually, it wasn't too bad. That was like 33. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, Charlie, it has a heated steering wheel. I'll go ahead and turn oh, that on so for you. We definitely have some sort of climate pack on here. So I'll turn that on for you, and I'm also, uh, I'll leave IMT on. You know, there aren't too many cars that I feel this way, but this would benefit from a wing. I think if you get them the some of the higher trims. Yes. Ooh, no softener, baby. That's excellent. Would you call? Would you? Would you call that sudden? Sudden? No, because I eased. Oh, you're also stationary. Yeah. 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 It wasn't acceleration. That's true. That wasn't do sudden, donuts. Right? <laughs> that was excellent. Amos is gonna love this car. <laughs> yeah, he is. In normal situations. <laughs> Bit of rev limiter there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, this really shows you that Toyota wants to have fun. Right, Toyota? You wanna have fun? Yes, I want you to have fun. fun. Cancel. Do you want us to have fun? So you can't say the T word anymore either. It used no. to just be the M word. Yeah. Now it's the T word as well. Yeah, and the F word too. What fun? Yes. We got a little brake test here. Oh my god. This heated steering wheel is excellent, although in typical Toyota fashion. It's only the sides? Yep. I don't understand that. And the bottom. Uh, Toyota, map pockets and heat the whole steering wheel, please. Okay, because in this car you need it. That throttle response is so snappy. It really is, actually. It's a good point. And the rep hang is really good. Like there, Good there as in there isn't any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't much. IMT does a great job rev matching. It really does. Getting it back out here on Michigan roads, especially even in cold weather, the ride's not as bad as I was worried it would be. And none of that horrendous wheel hop that we got in the end car because this thing's all wheel drive. It's gonna grip for days. Hmm? The signal was not present. Oh. It's nice when people realize their mistakes. Yeah. Like purchasing that's not a <laughs> that was good. That was. I like how it was understeer, 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 <laughs> snap over steer. <laughs> I am kind of curious, and we'll find out throughout the week, playing with the, the all-wheel drive bias split, kind of how you'll be able to throw the car around. Yeah. Because I believe from the track mode, then you get 50-50. Yeah. This is gonna be a fun car. You're welcome. Thank you. Chris, well, no, Chris Charlie, because how am I gonna to choose to drive this or that, that M340i? That both is actually fabulous really difficult. Cars. Chris has spoiled the choice this week with the M340i from BMW and this. Well, it's only fair because the last time I left for a week, you booked an M3 Competition X Drive and an Elantra N. Yes. So this is now. Yeah. We're we're, we're equal now. In yeah. terms of total horse. Power. No, there was more for the M week, but still, yeah, still quite good. And we haven't overheated at all. That's a win. Yeah. 
Well, we will get back at you at the end of this week after we've had a lot of fun. Let's go JBL. Yeah. You have to test that. I will be testing that. And the link to that will be in the description. We will see you in two seconds. Wrapping up a very fun driving week in the 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. It's been so nice to get this car into our home stomping grounds of southeastern Michigan, especially in an environment like this. A little bit chilly, uh, not ideal roads, not ideal weather. I'm happy to report that this has not been the punishing car that I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Sometimes we get vehicles out in these in the uh, cooler weather, the shocks get hard, the tire compound is hard, and it makes the car borderline unlivable. Not so with this one. Did you notice that it cuts power until that goes away? Yeah. 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 I honestly, I don't mind that. No. It doesn't bother me. Because right. it's almost like you're unlocking more power. <laughs> when that screen goes away, you're like, oh, sweet. I got all of my power back. I love the size of the steering wheel. Not only is the, the part you grip thin, but the, the diameter of the wheel itself is, yeah, it's a good steering is wheel. small. And it yeah. just makes for such a quick little steering experience. Yeah. I like the way the buttons work. Uh, after I explained the screen to you, did it? Did you uh, yes. customize it and make yes. more sense? Yeah, I did, because I customized it for the fuel economy test and put mm. the fuel economy things on it. And then as soon as I was done, I switched it back to a boost gauge and torque nice. split. Well, you know you can do different screens to do, like if you want a fuel economy screen here. Mm. Nope. Okay, well, there you go. I mean, I only had to change it once, so it doesn't yeah, bother yeah. me too much. But if I was living with, You're if living I owned the car, yeah, yeah, then yeah. that would be good to know. Yep, you have like a sporty sporty screen, and then, yep, okay. Ah, uh, yes, we have two screens that are fairly similar now. That's okay. You like seeing how much boost you're making in times 10 PSI? Yes. Oh, I like boost gauges. The shifter, dude. I just got done driving the BMW M2, and I think I can still say this, because this review will probably come out after our M2 embargo. Definitely. But the BMW shifters just suck. I yeah. don't know why they're so they're vague. Just rub they're rubbery. Yeah. yeah. And this, after driving this for a few days and then going out and driving that M2, I was like, ugh. The s however expensive car, $70-some thousand dollar BMW M car feels worse than this $40,000 Corolla. Yeah. Boy, that's so torquey. There's so much, like, ready to go. Power. There's torque everywhere. Even when you're rolling down the highway in sixth gear, yeah. you can punch it. You don't, you don't need a downshift to pass people. There's How was this car on the highway fuel economy test? It was fine. I think it did, like... 30, 30? I think it did 30 MPG or 31 or something. So it was, for it was decent. Drive. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, especially in the cold. And otherwise, uh, the ride is okay. The highways out here aren't particularly smooth, so you do feel quite a bit. But it was fine. I mean, I like I had no real complaints. So the JBL kind of sucks. Yeah. To, not to be mean, but no, it's, it's not very good. I am doubting this vehicle's turning intentions. Okay, yeah, no signal. That's good. <laughs> that is so much more fun than something that is smooth and 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 refined. I mean, this car is raucous. Yeah, it kind of shakes us around. It'd be the type that if you were going out on a first date, you'd have to try so hard to drive it gingerly because she would think you didn't know how to drive your car otherwise. Yeah. Or he. That's fair. And I love that the amount of power is such that you can full throttle it through you know, two and a half gears there and not be going super illegal speeds or anything. Yeah. And I love that three-cylinder noise. Yeah. It's a, it's a unique sound. It could do with a louder exhaust, though, in my opinion. The brake pedal and the gas pedal are a little bit far away if you want to try to manually heel toe. I tried doing it back there and kind of slipped. I and you there's may, a button over there that'll do it for you. There is, but you have to press it every time you get in the car. Why wouldn't they just make that? Actually, I probably know why. I bet you it's EPA related. Oh, it could be. Because cars get better fuel economy when wrap matching is off. And, and usually EPA is like, whatever the car defaults into when you start it is how they have to test it. Done any sideways action at 3070 split? Uh, with you in the car. Well, yeah, well, that was donuts. Yeah. Remember, we came out out, out of that though, and we did a little bit more. Oh, true. true it's true. it's still tough to get it to to get sideways. Yeah, it is. Why did you? No. Okay. I tried. It was just understeering. 
I think I, I think I didn't have enough heat in the front tires because it was cold out. Okay. Oh, I always forget to put it in the sport mode. Yeah. I don't think it really makes much of a difference. Yeah. So that was just under steer even though I was yeah. there. Oh, well I had traction control on. So. Ooh, little squirrel noise from the turbo, you hear it? Yeah, <laughs> well like you said, it, it surprises you with it. Because it doesn't happen every time. Yeah. Are we driving anything today that would pulverize that Barbie Jeep? <laughs> that I need for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that they dialed everything in so well. Does the brake pedal get firmer in sport mode? I don't think so. I think the only thing you can change is throttle response and uh, oh, no, steering. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, it's just always like that. Okay. I think I tried really hard in the winding road drive to get this thing to slide around, and it was... When you don't have the assistance of water or something like that on the road, it, it is difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I like this car a lot. Yeah. The only thing I'd really change is louder exhaust with burbles. Yeah, I bet the aftermarket game is going to have a lot of fun with this yeah. car, with exhausts and everything. Yeah. Because I have fun going out in the Elantra N and the Kona N and just being a menace. Being a menace, yeah. Yeah, the best was the Velostra N, but then they killed it because we can never keep anything good. Yeah. Um, that car was, like, just so obnoxious go out and do a one-two change and it sounded like there was a drive-by shooting happening. Toyota went so long without giving us just a fun accessible car. I mean yes the Scion came out the BRZ and FRS and everything out in um, 2013 but that was still so many sacrifices and yeah. it was still a Subaru. What was that stupid little boop thing that they made for a few years? The thing that just looked like a smart car. The IA? No. It was a Scion. Maybe it the was IQ? The IQ? Yeah. Yeah. There was that thing as well. Well, that's not a driver's car. That's just a stupid little smart car sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, like, something like you this. You said accessible. An accessible fun car. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So something that's... What about a Supra? Four-cylinder Supra. Well, that just happened, and also it's a BMW. So Toyota itself proper hasn't made a car like this in decades. And mm, people were... People Pontiac were, Vibe GT. So since the Matrix... You couldn't get, and, and, and serious, since the, the, yeah. the Matrix, what was it, XRS or whatever? Yeah, it was the same as the 5 GT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't get anything uh, fun and sporty from Toyota. That could rev to like 8,000 RPM. Yeah. It was great. And now you can, and this is this is excellent. Yeah. I would like to try the Yaris, though. I would quite like to try the Yaris, because I bet it would be better in every single way, because yeah. it's smaller. Although this is at least usable. Yeah, but as it, as far as driving, driving it goes, yeah. I think the Yaris would be That's true. excellent. I do think they should have figured out how to do some sort of center storage area, though. Yes. I know there's a, a drive there shaft and everything. There is nowhere to, to put your phone. Yeah. Nowhere well, to put your phone. well, you can put it up here, but it slides. What about here? You can put it. My phone's too big for that. Ah, and it would also slide. And it would slide. You can put it in the cup holders, but then it rattles around. And if you have drinks, then what are you supposed to do there? If you and Emily were to go to the Celine McDonald's in this car, you'd have virtually nowhere to put your <laughs> yes. drinks and your chicken nuggets and your fries and your chicken sandwich. <laughs> As well as your phones. <laughs> Thank you. But you could just drive the car instead of going to get fast food. Exactly. You could drive it to Celine McDonald's but never get it. It's true. Yeah, if I um, if I would have spent the whole entire week with this car, I probably would have had instances where I went out and just drove. But in the last few days, I've had other other things going on. Are you receiving a phone call? No. Okay. I had other things going on that kind of limited me, but in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, I should really be out driving that GR Corolla. I should really be out driving that GR Corolla because I don't know when we're going to have no. a chance to drive one again. So, Toyota's done a huge leap and bound with their infotainment as well. Having wireless CarPlay in this yeah. it just works well, looks nice, responds decently. You know, you probably could have gotten away with doing a Corolla infotainment review in this car and made quite a bit of money. What a shame. You could have done the same. No, I was out being a BMW enthusiast. So was I for most of the week. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you could beat this Equinox. Don't let him take you. You're in a GR Corolla.
the seats seem pretty comfortable. Yeah, I like the seats. Random that's the thing. Disney that's the thing with the, the the fact that we've only driven the core is that we don't really know what the interior is like in the circuit or the Marizo. Yeah. The, the interior in this core is pretty dang basic. The Topher says this is the one to get the core with all of the packages. Oh yeah, I forgot that in the beginning of this video, we didn't uh, we didn't know the packages properly. This has the performance package. Yeah. And the technology package. Yes. And the cold weather package. Yeah, so it gets you heated seats, heated steering wheel, JBL. Does this and have though? Because there are. Uh, there's the there's two separate package options <clears throat> there's like cold weather package or cold weather package with options this is the like all, whatever <clears throat> gets you all three is what it is yeah but there's okay yeah yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I, I built one and it was confusing it is confusing but it's because it's like combining packages together that makes but sense this just combines that, that makes sense i got you yep. have you seen the shift knob the different shift knob that they'll sell you no is it cool I like this one better, the hmm. standard one, because the other one is the other one's like the um, like the G R eighty six shift knob. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, this one's a nice little ball. Fits nicely in the hand. Oh, I'd like to point is out. Is it running? No, no. Auto up and down windows on all four. That's excellent. Oh wow. Usually a car like this would would cheap out on something like that, and I've never understood why because it's simply a uh, like an electrical thing. So why would you just, why would you cheap out on that? I mean, so I guess it's got to have sensors and stuff yeah, right. coming up, but I think it's nice Toyota didn't do that because mm -hmm. they totally could have. Yeah. And there's handles on all four. Yeah. Do these? Uh, no. But if you'd like to block nothing. your rearview mirror, you can. <laughs> Did you push track at all? No. See, I don't really know why you do that in most drivers. Fifty fifty. Yeah, I'd rather have thirty seven. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. We are happy to report that the GR Corolla is good in California and in Michigan. That's right. I forgot we f we filmed this in California as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it still looks a bit strange, but I would rather have strange than boring. Yeah. No, I like the I like the wide mm -hmm. rear end. I think it looks great. I do think it looks better with a wing, though. That might be one reason I might want to step up to a. I think you only get that in the level. circuit. Yeah. The, the circuit. Marizo ditches the wing again. I'm yeah. Sure. The circuit. I would like to have the wing because sometimes I see these. And I go, and I'm not quite sure if it's the the GR or not. Oh, really? Yeah. You must not be looking very hard. Well, no, but I feel like the wing would be a dead <laughs> yeah, giveaway. No, you're right. It's kind of like the Focus RS when you saw the wing, the you, big, you knew the big wing, or the Subaru STI. Yes. Yeah. Or the Honda Civic Type R. Yes. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. We are Chris and Charlie with Daily Motor, and as always, three cylinder on. I would have done grrr on. Yeah, wouldn't want that to be confused Gazoo with GR86. Though. On. Wait, let me drive back. I want one last go. Okay. Mm -hmm.